Leaked video on how Kenyan's presidency is always being planned or plotted is out. And I want us just to go straight to this beautiful lady trying to tell us some of the deal which always being done for you to be the president in this country. Let us listen to her on whatever she is saying. Good evening, my lovely people. Let me give you some secrets about elections in Kenya. When the campaign period is happening in Kenya, you find politicians and their teams going to the UK in a place called Chatham House. There they go through interviews, but what you see in the media will be uh, they are meeting the British, the British government, you know, taking care of the British, British interests. That's not the truth. That is where interviews are done and presidents are actually selected by the globalists. You'll find Raila did the same, Ruto did the same with his team. So once they pick who they've anointed to be the president of Kenya, everything along that channel is beaten to that direction. The IBC get funding to achieve that goal. The chief justice whoever the military everyone knows that's the direction we are going to take and that is how kenyan presidents are selected there is the second person who comes in and that's the, the the second popular person or the person who was not selected but is popular in the country and most of the time this person happens to be raila molodinga that person is supposed to be controlled that's it always finding meeting the U.S. ambassador, you'll always find the meeting the European Commission, I don't know, ambassadors, all because they have to keep that person in check. As per vote, one man vote, Raila actually won the elections. He knows the elections were taken away from him because he has no power to ascend himself to the seat of the presidency because he was not anointed by the powers that be. But he also needs to be controlled. So what do they do? They keep him in check. They give him positions. Like right now, the globalists, who are very well represented by the US ambassador, the IMF, the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, are the ones pushing for Raila to get the AU seat. Because by him getting the AU seat, he will not meddle in the local politics of Kenya. Okay? The AU itself is controlled by the globalists. I hope when I mention these names, you know what I mean. The introduction of the new world order. So guys, don't believe anything you see out here. You see Raila coming out today and saying that he's supporting dialogue. I Phone calls have been made to him. Otherwise... He's going to lose that there. Indeed, you sit. No one cares about Kenyans. No one cares about injustice. No one cares about corruption. Yes. No one cares that about inefficiency. Guys, the you have to dragons. wake up and fight for your country. When I talk about the Gen Z, dragons, wake up. This is all about the system the is rigged against Who are Kenyans. People planning? We are Metosheka. This is best. This is not good. Because there is always fear imagining between uh, inside those who want to make Kenyan president to be known and obey them. And they always try so much that the coming president must adhere with the rules and regulation under their command, and which is true according to that lady. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a favor like this video i've realized that some of you are watching the video but they don't offer a thumb of like please like this video when you like this video it will reach to several people in the youtube platform and it is a kind of job offer you are doing to this platform and if you are watching me for the first time subscribe to my youtube channel and give us your opinion now therefore this is shocking revelation Shocking to Raila Odinga as well. So, how are to Wakiendanga UK? They always think that Wakenya, our own, whatever is taking place. Let me tell you, the world has ears. Mountains has ears. 
regardless on how you are going to fix it, how many years it's going to take, how many months it's going to take, but one day the deal must be exposed. And it is today which the deal have been exposed that a clear confirmation that Kenya's presidency, presidency is not always being decided by Kenyans, but the people who sit on the throne. That is why I've described them as a dragon in the presidency. They will always sit and ask what always happened here. Where were to Mekupeai? Are you going to allow yourself and obey our rules? So does it mean that Raila Odinga is not always obeying the rules? Even this 2022 uh, uh, general August election, Raila knew that he won the election. But the force behind that Uchaguzi made him not to be elected as the president. They always capture IBC, first of all. Even the IBC, now the problem is not Wafula Chebukati, have a confirmed. The problem is these people who always sit down and discuss who is the best preferred candidate. And that lady have said that the system is rigged about Kenyans. And that place is called Chatham House. Chatham House is found in UK. That is where places they decide who is the best candidate to be fit for presidency. Nata Ruto ataenda, huko tena, 2026 ama 2027, kama tukwaribu kufika uchaguzi. Ama, mwenye ata compete na Ruto, pia ende. Because Ruto ndiyo popular. So they have used Raila, even fixing him at the AU job, in order not to get into the local politics. To silence him. And I said it last year, that that AU is just a force. Even the current president knows it. So it is just a deal they always do. And Kenyans are always wake up very early in the morning to vote. What always annoyed me is that there are some secret plans which always done by the known people in this world to select who is the best person to fit in the presidency seat in Africa as well as all well. and this has affected our country Kenya so much that is why people ask several questions oh kwanini raila huwa anaacha oh kwanini huwa raila anaacha and that one takes us to the next level of our political analysis there is a gentleman Gen Z exposing raila why he normally abandoned presidency seat because of some forces behind which is wrong. I'm very surprised seeing such kind of news trending at this, at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this movement? That is what I had to share with you at this point. I wish you all the best. And in conclusion, there is a dragon sitting on the throne and battling with the African leadership. And they must decide who is their preferred person. The preferred person, if I've been elected, he must adhere with the rules and regulation to ensure that the deal is done.